Hey gang, what's happening? This is Quicksilver from the Structure Network. This is my girlfriend, Rebecca. She decided to join me tonight because I'm going to be unboxing a fantasy loot crate. So, Turbo and I really aren't fantasy guys. I know Turbo sits upstairs with Rebecca and watches uh, all of his fantasy stuff. All of her fantasy stuff, not his fantasy stuff. This guy likes to watch professional wrestling and cartoons. But, uh... He enjoys Game of Thrones. I don't think he really watches it as much as you think. But, um, we're going to just, you know, really quickly unbox this month's loot crate now. I'm not a guy who's ever seen Princess Bride or anything like that. I might wait, as well get. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, I've never seen Princess Bride. Billy, come on. Well, not that I can remember. I know Andre the Giant's in it and all that stuff, and it's a beautiful love story and blah blah blah, whatever. But um, it's not something I've ever seen, and um, I don't, I don't watch Game of Thrones. I've seen the Harry Potters, but it's not something that I'm really really interested in. But I'm quite sure the guys from Loot Crate did come up with a solid crate. Also, if you don't have Loot Crate yet. Look right below you. There's a link. If you go through that link, you can save $5 on your first loot crate thanks to the guys here at Structure Network. So, let's get right into it. Sorry, Turbo. <laughs> i got to move you, buddy. All right, what do we got? Now, you're the expert, so I'm expecting you to know this stuff. And remember, right. when we unbox stuff, don't give me your life story. <laughs> I mean, not that your life story isn't interesting. It is very interesting. Listen, I promise. <laughs> Teacher for Newton, loves video games, blah, blah, blah. It's awesome. Mm. Don't get me wrong. Okay. So, what do we got here? So, oh, it's a nice t-shirt. Um, I'm pretty sure it's drunk, uh, Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know what Dungeons and Dragons yeah, is, I but know, I can tell right. just from looking at the logo through the back. I don't play Dungeons and Dragons, but... No, but I definitely think it's something... It's definitely Dungeons and Dragons, trust me. Yeah. Well, I see... The Anne symbol and the dragon, so yeah. I'm pretty sure it's a Dungeons and Dragons shirt. Not Dungeons and Dragons. Not a Dungeons so, and Dragons. If you guys don't know about Dungeons and Dragons, Wizards of the Coast actually picked up Dungeons and Dragons quite a few years ago, and uh, they've done a great job with it from what I've seen. I've actually seen a couple of the new D&D games at uh, PAX events. Not really my thing, but still very cool. Yeah, that is a cool shirt. All right, so nice shirt. Will you wear it? Absolutely, I'm okay, going to wear good. it. Up next... Ooh, fancy. Looks like we have a bow tie. This is an RPG bow tie. Mm. I know that because the guys from Loot Crate said they were doing something special that was... Well, why don't we put it on Turbo? See how we look? Oh, how it looks let's, on yeah, it. let's put Turbo. Hold on. I gotta... Loosen it up a Loosen little. it up a little because Turbo's got so much neck fat. It's not neck fat. Well, for those of you who don't have French Bulldogs or Bully Breeds or... Loose skin breeds. This is also, just so you know, this is a black tie geek tie. Uh, the asteroid tie was actually a black tie geek too. Still not short enough. Here, let's lift up your neck. Lift <laughs> up your head. We'll put you in a bow tie. Make you look dapper. Daddy's going to put you in a tie top. Sorry. Oh, look at you. So, this is a bully in a bow tie. <laughs> Say hi to all the nice people, Turbo. <laughs> Turbo's first time on camera was uh, when we did the uh, Loot Crate video last month. He was uh, an unwilling... Spider dog. Spider dog. And we also <laughs> unveiled his identity, and he hasn't been the same ever since. He was web swinging the other day, and he hurt his paw. Yeah, and it's also his birthday this week. And it's also his birthday on April 26th. So please, make sure you leave a comment. Wish Turbo a happy 10th birthday. Thanks, bud. You look very nice in your tie, pal. Yeah, you look so dapper. Okay, up next. The Princess Bride. Now, oh. Talk about the Princess Bride, Rebecca. You know all about it. Well, this is such a nice um, card deck. It has um, some she of the characters. She already looked at it. I did. She just gave away the whole mystique of the video. I did. I really, I took a sneak peek at these cards. They have um, some of the characters from the movie in the deck of cards. Is Andre the Giant in there? Yes. Actually. And they have famous movie quotes in here. Where's the one with Andre the Giant? This one is right here. Let me see. So, just for the record, for those of you who are fans of Andre the Giant, Andre the Giant went 15 years undefeated and then had to job to Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania 3. Not that I hate Hulk Hogan or anything, but how do you go 15 years undefeated and then lose at the biggest show of them all? And then he clearly says, anybody want a peanut? Andre the Giant, we're hoping you like peanuts. And then they have Princess Buttercup. And then really some, um, the, the, car, the, the cards are so nicely done, the artwork. Um, and this, oh, this is actually my favorite card. 
I'm going to show it to you. Seriously, she went rifling through these before the video. I did. This is when Princess Buttercup was getting married, and the priest said, Mowage, instead of marriage. I always think that's so funny. <laughs> okay, up next. This is from Loot Crate Labs. I already know about this. This is an inflatable crown. Harry, I'm going to put this on. I'm sorry if you see this video. Yeah, I think it's like for people, what is it, the RPG for cosplay, sort of different. Um, it's just like a fun crown. I don't think a with. cosplayer would wear an inflatable crown. I think a goofball like me would wear this to a convention. Yeah, maybe. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Does it work? <laughs> and oh. I just let all the air out Yeah, you it. did. <laughs> Harry, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Okay, up next, looks like we have a bag tag. Um, Harry Potter. Not really sure anything about Harry Potter. I, I, I saw the movies when I was younger. I, I must admit I was probably half asleep during most of them. This is amazing. This is something that I would put on my um, my luggage. It's a bag tag for your luggage. And it says nine and three quarters. Now, if all of you are familiar with Harry Potter, which I'm sure all of you are, Nine and no, three quarters. Oh well, maybe. Nine and three quarters is the platform where Harry got the train to Hogwarts from King's Cross in England, and um, it's it's just part of the books. It's just part of the movies. And even if you go to um, Harry Potter World in Orlando, Florida at Universal, God's waiting they, room. They have um, <laughs> a nine and three quarters platform, and you can actually take a train to. Um, Harry Potter World from nine and three quarters. So I'm definitely going to use this bag tag. I'm a big fan of this and uh, can't wait to use it whenever we go to Harry Potter World. I don't know if that'll be happening anytime soon. Yeah, whatever. Okay, up next. Ooh. Game of Thrones House Sigil Magnet Set. Yes. Rebecca rifled through this already I did. too. I'm sorry. I really did. Um, as you can see, I am a big Game of Thrones fan. I watch it every Sunday night. It just started April 12th. For and those has... of you who are watching this video later, it's it's season 5, episode 3 is coming up this week. And what do I say to you every time it's on TV? Leave me alone. Yes. I tell them to leave me alone. <laughs> I'm like, do not call me, do not talk to me, I need to watch Game of and, Thrones. And my exact response is, I'll be downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> but it shows um, their magnets for the fridge or whatever, and it just shows the different houses. So the house of Stark with the dire wolf, um, hear me roar, the Lannister with the lion, um, fire blood, which is the Targaryens, which is the three dragons. Which one's the midget? Uh, Lannister. Uh, the Lannister house. See, Lannister. the only thing I know about Game of Thrones is, is that you've got pop vinyls over here, yeah, and that South Park did a parody where they talk about George R. R. Martin's uh, <laughs> obsession with flaccid wiener. I, I'm not really sure about much beyond and that. And every time I hear the theme song, I hear that theme wiener, song. Wiener, yeah. wiener, 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 wiener. Sing along, everybody. <laughs> you ruined it for me. And then it also has House Baratheon, which are some of the other characters. So okay, like cool, that. cool. That's going to go on our fridge. It's gonna, it will be on the fridge. So this is from Custom USB. Um, this is a... Game of Thrones Loot Crate exclusive USB drive. Now, which is which is the this one? Yeah, it's the House Stark. The House Stark. And so it's the Dire Wolf. It's a Dire Wolf. This is pretty cool. Check this out. That is. It is really the cool. Dire Wolf. It is. We're not sure how big it is, but we just know it's a USB drive. Right. Knowing the guys at Loot Crate, it's probably a pretty decent sized USB drive. Yeah. Probably that's... four to six gigs, hopefully. Just you know, something you can carry around if you're a Game of Thrones fan. You know. Nice little USB drive for you. I actually have a favorite USB drive. Um, I have an Optimus Prime one that was given to me by the guys from MemoCo a couple of years ago. But, um, you know, all this talk about Game of Thrones is making me want to talk about something that I like. So I brought something for show and tell today. This is my replica Dragon Dagger. It was played by Jason David Frank during the years that the Green Ranger was the greatest Power Ranger of all time. And it makes noises when I go like this. So much cooler than Game of Thrones any day of the week. Hey, Loot Crate, if you're watching this, I would really like a Power Rangers-themed crate. 
Seriously. Like Power Rangers. Who bought that for you? I don't know. Oh, Some yeah. chick. I have no idea. She <laughs> must be crazy. Okay, my favorite part of the Loot Crate every month, um, I talk about this a lot, is his pins. So I on my messenger bag, I have all my pins. Here is your April 2015 pin. And then last but not least, your Loot Crate magazine. It's actually great this month. Uh, it shows the contest winners of the Do It Yourself contest from the last uh, from a couple months ago. Um, it shows you April's Mega Crate. I, I'm sorry, I never show you guys this stuff in my videos, but uh, you guys should see this. The Mega Crate this month was actually really good. It was um, worth over $2,500. Comes with a pair of gunners. It comes with a Razor Death Adder mouse, a um, a Black Widow Chroma Clicky mechanical keyboard. It came with actually. I'm sorry. It was a it was a Death Adder Chroma mouse, not just a Death Adder. I have a Death Adder. I love it. Um, but basically, it's a Witcher setup. Um, comes with everything you'll need. It's basically powered by iBuy Power, NVIDIA, and Gunner. Fantastic. Comes also with a copy of The Witcher 3. One last thing. This month's crate, something, you know, I'm not out of the ordinary, but I've seen a couple people do it. Actually, my good pal Long Tran actually had posted a picture on his Instagram of the inside of the crate turned inside out. This is actually set up so you can turn it inside out. So now that we've documented and shared, we hope you guys enjoy your loot crates. My name is Quicksilver from the Structure Network. My girlfriend, Rebecca, and the king of the house. Turbo. This is Turbonius <laughs> Sausage Cart. I don't, I don't know. So hope you guys like this video. Please like and comment. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more French Bulldog shenanigans, <laughs> loot crate unboxings, and all things gaming and geek. My name is Quicksilver from the Structure Network. The Grid is live at structure ne thestructurenetwork.com. Please make sure to check out our partners over at theelectricsisterhood.com and TGN TV. And we'll see you next time.